Welcome to an introduction to animals. Now here we see horses, some of the most graceful and magnificent animals on earth. But flies are also present, pesky and by no means admired. They are both animals, both citizens of the same kingdom. Just like man's best friend the dog, and the birds that fill the air, like these bald eagles in Alaska. Alaska is also home to these harbor seals and this brown bear. It's digging for food, waiting for the salmon run. The sight of wild animals is an exciting thing, including these deer and, very exciting, these whales. This flock of birds is in Louisiana, South Louisiana, near the town of Crowley. Back in Alaska, caribou cool off in a snowbank, and this ground squirrel stands up as if to claim ownership of this vast mountain region. And these stellar sea lions seem to claim whatever rock they're on, as these males are in a haul-out, also in Alaska. They share waters with these tufted puffins. And here, honeybees leave a sign of their presence in this honeycomb. This red fox and these dolls' sheep live in Denali National Park. Efforts to save these sheep helped establish the park. Moose are found in this country, along with the Canadian lynx. While these animals seek food on land, porpoises seek fun, riding the bow wave of a boat. And it seems seagulls are always seeking a meal. Small rodents are the prey of this animal. This is a gopher snake located near Medford, Oregon, on the bike path. And black bears range throughout North America. And here, this great horned owl is a resident of Southern Oregon. They also have a wide range, like these turtles down in Louisiana. That's where migratory geese come to winter. This river otter makes its home in Klamath Lake, some birds are solitary, while others gather in huge flocks, like these blackbirds in Acadia Parish, Louisiana. Listen carefully and you'll hear their wings. That's incredible. The you, you, hear, you hear the noise there, yeah. all those wings? Are there? This great white egret steps carefully through the tall grass, seeking field mice. It pounces on one. This heron stands on the bank looking for fish or frogs. This scrub jay used to visit my cat at my house. Yes, this cat. Fish lead a very different life, but they're still animals just like the other examples, even like this squirrel. These white pelicans are also part of the animal kingdom, as is this sheep. These live along the Snake River in Idaho. Like other hooved animals, they're grazers. This owlet was raised in a former red-tailed hawk's nest. And this chipmunk lived on the banks of Crater Lake, as does this marmot. This is an alligator lizard. And this is an osprey, sometimes called a fish hawk. This squirrel is storing up seeds for the winter at Table Rock, while this bee gathers pollen near Mount Ashland. Bumblebees are important pollinators. So are hummingbirds, this one also near Mount Ashland. In southern Oregon, there are many black-tailed deer like this one. This squirrel was caught on film carrying a pine cone. 
These animals are an invasive species, fire ants. Red-tailed hawks are widely distributed. They're called chicken hawks here in Louisiana. Warm waters there provide a good habitat for reptiles, like this turtle. In their spring plumage, birds often have bright colors. This helps them attract mates, and that keeps the species going. Raccoons are a very adaptable animal, living off the land or off people's garbage. This cliff swallow makes its nest out of mud and straw. These spider monkeys eat plants to survive. And these leaf cutter ants gather leaves on which to grow a fungus, and they eat that fungus. Not all geese migrate. This Canada goose spends all year in southern Oregon. This anteater spends its year in Mexico. This ancient crocodile lives in Mexico as well, near a place called Villahermosa, meaning the beautiful village. That's the home of these birds and jaguars. The California coast is home to these brown pelicans. Sea turtles and jellies live in the ocean, but these are found in the Monterey Bay Aquarium. So with all these differences, what is it that makes an animal an animal? How is the animal kingdom distinct from plants, fungi, proteist, and monera? That's one of the questions we'll pursue in this unit. This caddisfly larva makes its home around its body using rocks and other materials in the water. These mallard ducks find their meal in the same water. Seals find their meals of fish in the water, but they also spend some time out of the water, like this one laying up on rocks. The animal kingdom is large and varied, and virtually everyone has had some kind of experience with at least some kinds of animals. The more we learn about animals, the more we'll know about our world. Through the means of video, we can get up close without causing stress to the animals or danger to ourselves. In this unit, we'll use our common knowledge of animals to help us improve our English. We won't stress ourselves trying to use perfect English. Like these coots in Grants Pass, Oregon, We'll just float between lessons, enjoying the journey to greater English proficiency.